Riots are fun. People riot to enjoy themselves. They don't riot because they have grievance. They don't riot because they've had unhappy childhoods. They riot because they are wicked, selfish, lawless, and absolutely unable to recognize authority or the difference between right and wrong. We have raised a generation of people like that on Monday night and Tuesday night. They came out into the open because they saw an opportunity. That's all you need to discuss here. And what we have done is dismantled every form of authority in our society during the past 50 years with deliberate intent. The, 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 the left-wing liberal reformers who have run our society have attacked every single institution from the family to the school and reduced it to nothing. They've eviscerated the police. Uh, we talk now about tough sentences. There doesn't exist such a thing as a tough sentence in our society. These people will not be punished. Most of the people who are in the courts now are in any case stragglers. They're not the real, they're not the real deal. They're the people who were picked up at the end who were too stupid to run away. The, the, there will be no serious criminal justice. These people know that. They've, they've, most of them have okay. encountered. When I was in, when I was in, when I was in the court at Highbury yesterday, several of the people who were up before the magistrates already had long strings of offences to the name. Okay, we're going to one, one was actually on a suspended prison sentence. These people have encountered authority again and again and again, and they find it well, we're laughable. Talk about and they're very, right to find it we're laughable. We're going to talk about because it is very laughable. short. What I would not like to hear from the police anymore, though, thank you very much, is stuff about taking the law into your own hands. Who does the law belong to? It's ours in the first place. We give it to them so that they can exercise it on our behalf, when and where they fail, and on this matter they have substantially failed, they can't really complain if groups of residents of streets take up their own defense. And I really do think there should be less of this, and it's been for a long time, people who have tried to defend themselves against burglars have been hauled in by the police and, 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 and charged with offenses. It ought to stop, and it ought to stop for good, this nonsense. We ought to be allowed to defend ourselves a lot more if they can't do it for us. There is no basis on which most people being brought up in this country can now judge between right and wrong. So we're, we're left with ad hoc ethics, which is, the res, which is practical atheism. There is no reason to believe that anything is particularly right or particularly wrong, except insofar as it suits you. And that's what we've got. It seems to me to be a very strong argument in favor of the other thing. But that, that is right at the bottom of the, of, of the huge pile of mistakes which our society has made, though you, you might well say that it was, it was at the foundation of them, but they have all been based on the idea that you could get away with society without a fundamental moral position to back it, to back it up. The legal position falls, the education system falls, the family falls, all the things which hold, hold up a society and a civilization fall, and then you get a night like Saturday night and Sunday night, and you suddenly see, revealed as in a flash of lightning, just how far your society has decayed. Though people like David still deny there's anything wrong. Are we going to see more rioting in coming weeks and months? I don't know about coming weeks or months, but definitely in the future there will be more of this. Yes, there, isn't, there is nothing to prevent it.